Chapter 3, Basic Ideas in the Italian Game. I've described some of them above. Bring your bishop onto the uh, a1, h8 diagonal, uh, eyeing up the tender point, f7. Play c2 to uh, c3 and d2 to d4 to take over the center. Develop your other pieces rapidly, bringing your king's rook to e1. If you have a lead of develop, uh, if you have a lead in development, break open lines to get it black at the black position. Keep the opponent's pieces from settling with central pawn stabs. Usually we say, don't make time wasting pawn moves like h2 to h3. But if you play e4 to e5, attacking a knight. Uh, on f6, the knight has to move, so you haven't given a chance of black. Uh, you haven't given black a chance to catch up in development, and you may have dislodged an important defender. It's odd that because pawns are worth the least, nothing can resist their attacks. Try and catch the opponent's king in the middle, or if it escapes by castling, attack on the king side. Usually, only the Evans gambit and Mahler attack in the Guccio piano are fast enough to catch the king in the middle. If your attack doesn't come about, fast development and seizing the central files may give you an advantage in the endgame. Because the basic layout is similar for both sides, some of these ideas also apply to playing black. In addition, black should strive for rapid development, castle into safety, counter with d5 of, a, of its own, play for counterattack on the king side, or an endgame advantage. First I'll show you an example of a game that, which includes ideas I've list, listed above. All the basic ideas. White, Evans Gambit, London, 1990. E4, E5. Knight F3, Knight C6. Bishop C4, Bishop C5. B4, Bishop takes B4, C3. Bishop to C5, castle. D6, D4, E takes D4, C takes D4. Central advantage, the, pawn, the plan A pawn center with good development. Bishop to B6, rook to E1. The rook comes to E1, giving the king a hard stare. Bishop to G4. White's next, uh, White's next points both bishops at the king's side. Bishop to b2, queen to f6, e5, d takes e5, d takes e5, writing, the center, writing by center pawns. The pawn wins time by the attack on the queen, and then breaks open lines by a further step forward. Queen to f4, e6, bishop takes f3. Black hopes to gain time by taking a piece with an attack on the queen. E to f7 check. Not a bit of it. Check stops everything. In fact, white never moves the queen or takes the bishop. Attack on f7 along the Italian diagonal with uh, the b2 bishop. King to f8. Pawn takes f8, becoming a queen. Rook, or rook to g8. Alright, it's on. Um... Bishop a3 check, Cat, uh, rook, or the knight to e7, bishop to e7 check, and the king is caught in the middle. Black resigns. An exciting game. Let's have a look at each of these ideas again in actual play, and how to play with them when you're black.